Hi, this is Andy Valentine of Valentine Cosplay. Uh, something I get asked quite a lot recently is about stenciling and putting logos and text and all that kind of stuff onto typically post-apocalyptic outfits. Like, you know, we've got up here, uh, yeah, just this kind of stuff. Um, so I was going to go through very quick how to, because it's pretty easy if you know what you're doing. You're going to need a few things. An item to stencil. It's a vest. That's it. Something you're going to stencil. I'm going to do this as a as an emblem thing. Gross ninety one. Uh, yeah, that's a cat. They're not necessary, but they are cool. Iron board, iron switched on. Preferably, they work better when they're hot. And greaseproof paper at American Brotherhound. Might know this as uh, freezer paper, but logistically speaking, it's the same thing. First thing you want to do. Lovely iron. Right, get it nice and flat. Let's do that. This is ironing, this is easy. Um, if you can't do it and you're an adult, grow up, learn to iron, it's important. Right, next up, greaseproof paper. You know the stuff that you make cakes with, probably, if you like me and like to make cakes. Um, and bang that down on top of whatever you're gonna stencil. Now it's got two sides, a slightly shiny side and a matte side, you want shiny side down. Um, and then get a pen. Where's my goddamn pen? Never find a pen when I need a pen. Get a pen. Draw it onto it. Like this. Mm. You know how to draw. I'm not going to distract. I'm not going to explain that bit. Come on. You know ideas. Right. If you've managed to successfully master tracing, well done. Next, you got to master cutting. Right. So these bits, you're going to cut them out. Do not use fabric scissors. Every time you use fabric scissors to cut out paper, the fabric fairy comes into your bedroom at night and shits in your ears. Do not do it, else she will take your soul. Use normal scissors, cut this out. That's cutting. That's like, if you're like six years old, you can do this. Cutting, it's easy. Let's do it. And we go back to the ironing board. Now be sure to pause 30 Rock or whatever TV show it is you're probably watching at the point in time. Got the greaseproof paper thingy all cut out, the cut in. See, that we did that with scissors, not fabric scissors. We did all that. Next, iron mm, onto the t shirt. And what this will do is melt the waxy side of your thingy, greaseproof paper. I mean, it sticks down. Da, da, da. Right, you'll know if you've done it upside down at this point because you will wreck your iron and bad things will happen. Cool. Ideally, you'd do this next bit with like fabric paint, but I'm expecting it and find it is empty. <laughs> so I'm going to use everyday value, mad wide emotion. You know how when you spill paint on your clothes and it doesn't come out forever? Um, well, that's what we're going to do. So, sponge, matte white emulsion, dip, sponge. And repeat until finished. It makes a little carcass. What happens when you pull off the stencily thing after you've done all the paddy thing is you end up with that. Da, da, da. As you can see, pretty clean lines there. Um, yeah, so that's the tea. So now I'm just going to leave that for an amount of time to dry, a few hours. Um, that's it, really. That's it, stenciled. That's what we came in to do. Just do that, and then you'll have your own stencil thing. All good. Tune in next time. I'm going to actually post a pock the crap out of this thing, which is something else you might want to see. If so, check the other video. Assuming it's on, because it might not be on yet.